Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Here today on the channel we have episode 15 of my Car France series. We're 113 turns in and here today, if we keep on doing well like we've been doing in this series, we should be able to hit our ultimate victory conditions and win the Vampiric Ascension which took over the land. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I really much appreciate it. We've reached the Dragon Isles as it looks like the Plague Lord is hanging around here. Cool. Alright, in the last episode as well, Buddy Orion declared war upon us. We should be able to deal with him like the rest of his Wood Elf kin. So, we've got three of the five Vampire capitals back under our control as we push into the King's Glade. We crushed the resurgent Barra Legion, Musulon, and Sylvania after already defeating them once in this series, destroying them from a secondary time. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this series at any point, or if you've learned anything, thanks for the support. And if you haven't already left the video, like and subscribe if you're new. And upmost, let me know in the comments what you'd like me to replace this series with. Doesn't necessarily have to be Warhammer 3. But if so, let me know what factions you are curious to see. As we continue our offensive against Orion and the last of the Wood Elves. We finally brought in Hellstorm Rocket Batteries as well. Throughout the majority of our builds. Gelt's on the way. Toddy's defending the north. But... We're still quite close now. To the Haunted Forest. Kind of threading the needle, actually. Okay, we can finally get a bunch of wizards <laughs> in our builds. We've really yet to have that much money in this campaign yet that we've finally had enough. Like, we've basically just been absolutely pushing and pushing our swordsmen, crossbowmen how archers and mortars to the absolute Fire. limit that it's it's an incredible investment to actually get the buildings and the requirements for having wizards like what are we 115 turns in look we could have gone from early if we rushed it but man the empire campaign is um not as easy it's definitely a lot harder in warhammer 3 i can't be the only one that thinks that but we'll get some wizards in even though it's probably a little too late. But they also have made it harder as well to get wizards. You used to be able to get them much earlier on in a series. But we'll try and bring them in now. Never late than never. We'll try and get a jade wizard into Carl's army ideally as well. But even now, our two best full stacks with Carl's and Gilt, uh, Carl, Franz and Gilt, are actually, well, mobile. They're on their way. Yes. So we've got a bright wizard in Altdorf and a um, jade wizard in the south. We'll go with the burning head. So we're sort of threading the needle there. Look, there's heaps of enemies in and around. Because this is uh, Gorst's faction, isn't it? So is that the only way to get to the haunted forest? Well, that sucks. We're going to have to take some attrition. Who owns that? It's only a one settlement faction, really. Like this re one, sorry, one settlement region. Who owns it? The ogres. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. Uh, you'd assume a vampire would have it. We actually might be able to make a play for the Oak of Ages, to be honest. Decisive. Let's move this one in. True servant. Oh, we probably don't need to, actually. Nice. The 
They've also got a one down there. As if Ka Kara's Karak got destroyed. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, the dwarves have sucked in this playthrough. They've really not survived at all. Okay, so this is what we currently occupy. Most of Bretonia. Orion's being crushed to a little old seedling. And unfortunately, Gelt is going to have to trespass through Tomb King territory. And go past the Black Pyramid. But we are actually going to finally meet our Empire allies in the south. Hang on, where are they? So that's, so that's Greece. So yeah, Greece is Gold Tooth. Has that settlement. Oh, that's annoying. Because he's actually got a firm alliance with Cathay, which is kind of cool. It's surprising to see Cathay and the, um, the ogres really team up. Great. What have I done to deserve discourse with so I guess we'll negotiate with Imric to try and join his war. I will not fail. Shouldn't be too difficult to take the haunted forest, though. <laughs> we have to fight some Cathay units. That's funny. Kind of cool that they have a hybrid build. So we're four down, one to go. I doubt they're going to try and take it back. Uh, we'll try and get some relations with the Tomb Kings. They're never going to accept military access. Yeah, so Volkmar the Grim actually has a new faction down here with the Cult of Sigmar in the Greater Desert, which is kind of cool now. I'd love to confederate with him. Like, he has his own faction in his own right now, which is sick. He's actually down near Araby. <laughs> Still a while before Gelt can get down there. No way. You're joking. Tyrion of the High Elves has attacked me. What? Um, okay. I was not expected that. Avalon. Ever. Um, that means Eltharion's gonna come in. Kislev. Yeah, maybe because we destroyed their. Elf and kin. Oh, I kind of hate that the Wood Elves attacked me. <laughs> okay, so Gelt has now landed. And he really... Is it time? His conquest is all that's remaining. We've nearly hit a hundred settlements though. Nearly halfway towards there. And what do we need these? Still Ostland and Ostermark. It's funny that we're probably going to hit the ultimate before we hit the long. It just takes a while for all the elect accounts to come in, like, through natural confederation. To be fair, it's nearly at the time where we've got so many of them, we could just, like, manually conquer them. Anyway, Gelt's still heading south to try and take the last remaining settlement we need. I guess we'll just try and get there as quick as possible and try and evade the Tomb Kings. Uh... And we've knocked Orion out from his woodland home. Still got a bit of territory down here, though. And once again, former dwarven territory. And he's still hanging about. He's still got an army nearby. Uh, we've still got the Theodric here. Yeah, but if you look in the south. The dwarfs in uh, Karaz Karak have been completely done and dusted. Let's reclaim this, it's not too far. Bringing back all the wasteland under our control. Just continually getting sacked by fucking Norskins. 
Let's just try and replenish and repair where we can. I serve the Heldenhammer by Sigma. Okay, Orion's attacked us there. Fool. Dude, why did he do that? <laughs> Friends of the Empire. We ended up just absolutely crushing his faction. Just a little bit too late to avenge Durthu and Dryage and the boys. We actually can make a play for Cardas Karak now. Getting a piece of territory in the Silver Row will be quite profitable. Like, we've already got an army there holding, defending. The south and Sylvania, like, why not make a play? Like, I wish I could bring back the dwarves. Like, the elect account system. Oh my god. Three full stacks of vampires there. So we still, we still, we still need to go past them. It's a little bit like vampire. It looks like it's tearing there. Still pretty Such early access, this version. It's just so weird seeing so much vampire corruption there in the desert. <laughs> Do not mock me. And this is uh, like this is where like Manfred is, eh? Von cast on. So maybe pushing this way might do it. Ah, oh, the Tomb Kings have it. Seriously? As if. You'd think that um Manfred will have it. Osterland Office Confederation will accept that. We should have the finances to um probably deal with their units that we're just gonna acquire. Their trash tier units. Oh no, we might have just been pipped here to the post. They've sent an army over. Oh well actually if they take it quite quickly, that actually might work well. I could take the Springs of the Eternal Life just to give us a bit of base of operations. There doesn't even seem to be that much vampiric corruption there anyway. And Gilt has taken some attrition, nothing too crazy. Not like when Carl had to cross the fucking toxic seas. We'll use this as a, ba a base of operations, replenish and repair, get back up to full strength, and we'll make a push. I guess we'll continue on the Silver Road and take the Pillars of Grungi or whatever. The Empire. Making some nice progress against the Crooked Moon. Might nearly be able to get all of it if we take Mount Squighorn. <laughs> Great. The Vampire Coast attacks us with the Pirates of Satosa. Salt Spy Kariana. Yeah, so they have besieged them. You've got to be kidding me. They're putting two full stacks over. <sighs> we were so, so close. Um, yes. Even Volkmar's got an army over. We could go over there to help, because if this works, we might be able to draw out the... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> the the, uh, the Tomb King garrison is going to help us. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll fight this one, because Manfred's actually rocked up. Manfred and Gelt going at it. So, if we can throw this back, if we can weaken the Tomb King garrison, we can move on in and then hit our ultimate victory conditions. Gelt has, what, five units of great swords, three halberds, one swordsman, one handgunner, four crossbows, four hellstorm rocket batteries, and two mortars as well, which are really going to pack a punch. But first time facing Manfred, we fought Vlad a lot, who's been tough for the Empire. Nice, dry desert. 
but it's like in, at night, so it's kind of eerie <laughs> looking. Okay, so there is a delay with Manfred's reinforcements and the Tomb King Garrison coming to help us out. The Gelt just needs to inflict as much damage on this first army as we can. I haven't played with Gelt much in this series because he hasn't really been needed for that many clutch battles or well, significant ones. I've been using Carl mostly. Still a minute before those reinforcements come. I'll be curious to see how Gelt does in combat here. Should be okay. He just needs to be in range to get his offensive spells off. Just need to keep that fire rate up. Surprisingly 90% in my favor, seeing there's no reinforcements in. Alright, trying to get Geld out of this. As if guilt just fucking fled. <laughs> I thought it'd be right early in some capacity. But here come our Tomb King allies. These guys look sick. Oh god. Manfred's now here. Really pincering this right flank, hopefully, can hold. Thankfully, France. That's what Carl. What? Gelt. <laughs> Has recovered. They're blobbing up here, Wells. Just give all this artillery with that. Oh my god, this is... Really, really close. We need these Tomb King reinforcements quick, fast. Just fire absolutely everything into that fucking cluster. Our right flank is like falling, but the left is now holding thanks to the Tomb Kings coming in. Dude, this is way too close to Cole. Our infantry are doing a hell of a work, losing high casualties. We just need to get the skirmishes and artillery to help on out. They're wavering. Sigma, preserve us! Our come on, come on. Missiles will fly to battle. Thank you. 
Still way too close to call, because fucking Manfred is tanking. Nice, we won. What the we fuck? I think the Tomb King saved our ass then. It's going to be a shame, because we're going to stab them in the back. <laughs> and betray them. We just want to try and... Completely get rid of them, nice. Close battle, yeah, no shit. Holy crap. They really outnumbered us as well. Gel got 747 kills. Oh my god, the Hellstorm rocket batteries? Dude, thankfully brought them in. If we had four mortars compared to the Hellstorm, I don't know if we would have won that. But, thankfully, they haven't had, they didn't really sort of camp that settlement with like three full stacks. Thankfully, the bloody Tomb Kings held it. We'll get rid of them. Now, I didn't really see exactly how... I didn't see how many they exactly lost the Tomb Kings. So, we should be able to just march on in. Theoretically. 132 turns in. Well, I guess we take it now. And then, I don't know how long we exactly have to hold it for. Before we hit our ultimate victory conditions. Probably only one turn. So instead of straight up war decking them, which would bring potentially other Tomb Kings in. Oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe they're um, allied with factions. So we'll ask uh, Krokgar. Hey, can I join against the Tomb Kings? That'll be great. 2k, perfect. And now, with a slightly weakened garrison. Uh, not overly too much. We can go on in with a decisive order resolve. And just repair slightly. We have a piece of territory in the shifting sands. Uh, diplomacy wise, anything else? No, we're good. It's always good to check. So, yep, we've fulfilled all the requirements. We should be able to hit this ultimate victory condition now. Now that we've survived the end game event. Dude, that's tough. That's tricky. We nearly got caught. I couldn't imagine if we weren't as strong or expansive as we were, like, trying to deal with those relentless stacks that got spawned. Crikey. Okay, Volkmar's not happy because we trespassed through his lands. It's also interesting as well, as the campaign goes on, there's significantly a lot of less factions. Oh, Bellicor's coming in again. <laughs> he is really squishy in this, for whatever reason. Uh, more High Elves are attacking me, so be it. Uh, but yeah, like it starts off with like 300, 280 factions. Once you get to 110, there's literally only like 90 factions left. Oh, we won. There we go. Look at that. It's taken us 124 turns to hit our ultimate victory conditions. Crikey. Here are the statistics, the stats if you're curious. And here are the records, obviously starting in humbling beginnings in Reichland. Spreading all out, dominating the Empire, most of the Woodland Realm, and Bretonia. This is what we control. We'll continue the campaign. Well, thank you very much for watching. We've hit the ultimate victory conditions. We're going to put a pin in the campaign here, read your feedback and suggestions, and depending on the general support, the likes, the comments, the views, um, what you guys are sort of thinking, we could do more episodes. There is definitely an option for domination, which would take a significant amount of time, but we've hit 101 settlements out of a total 270, so not quite half. It's more of, a, more of a third through. But the problem is, well, we might need to download a mod to get habitable territory or something. But it's interesting, look how far I east you have to go once you hit the... if you get the Vampiric um, Ascension one. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my first Immortal Empire's Ultimate Victory you campaign. Saw. Stay tuned for more Total War content on the channel. Whatever Champion it is. Yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Protected. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Ben Simsy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.